subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Azure Storage Account An Azure Storage Account, contains all of your Azure Storage data objects, like blobs, files, queues, tables, and disks. The Storage Account, provides a unique namespace for your Azure Storage data, that is accessible from anywhere in the world, over HTTP or HTTPS. Blob Storage So Blob Storage Service, is used for object level storage in the storage account. Means, you will use the blob storage for any type of object, that you want to store in a storage account. Let's say you have an application, and your users use this application to upload videos, photos of images. Your application could be hosted on your on-premise environment, or it could be hosted on an Azure virtual machine. But you cannot store those images or videos, on the VM itself. Because, this could be a point of failure. As, if your VM goes down, you will lose the data. Another point to consider is, the size of storage required. Solution is to use Blob service in Azure storage accounts. So, the key benefits of Blob storage are. First, decoupling. Which means, that your service which is hosting your videos, is separate from your application and your virtual machine. So if it goes down, you still have the files in the storage account. Next, it is a highly available, highly reliable and highly scalable service. So you don't need to think about the amount of storage in the storage account. This is automatically managed. It is also used for storing your disk files for your virtual machine. The Azure disks are block level storage volumes for Azure VMs. Bob storage is ideal for the following. 1. Serving images or documents directly to a browser. 2. Storing files for distributed access. 3. Streaming video and audio. 4. Writing to log files. 5. Storing data for backup and restore, disaster recovery, and archiving. 6. Storing data for analysis by an on-premises or Azure hosted service. Blob Storage offers three types of resources. First, the storage account itself, then, a container in the storage account, and then, a blob in a container, which contain your files. With Azure Storage, you have the option of following tiers. 1. Hot Storage, optimized for storing data, that is accessed frequently. 2. Cool Storage, optimized for storing data, that is infrequently accessed, and stored for at least 30 days. 3. Archive Storage, optimized for storing data, that is rarely accessed, and stored for at least 180 days with flexible latency requirements. So now let's create a storage account. So search for storage in the search, select storage accounts. Then, choose your subscription and resource group. Then, give a unique account name. Now in the performance, you choose the type of storage you want. Standard storage accounts are low cost, and backed by magnetic drives, while premium storage account is backed by solid state drives. Now here, we select the type of storage account we want. Now next you have an option for replication strategy. This ensures, that your data is always replicated, and hence providing high durability, and availability. Now in the advanced tag, you have some settings for your blob storage. We will keep blob public access as enabled. So once you are familiar with storage accounts, then you can keep the blob public access as disabled. And we will keep the access tier as hot. Next, click review and create, and create your account.
Once your account is deployed, go to the Overview section. And now, here you can see, that you have the ability to use all of the four services. Here you have the Container Service, the File Share Service, the Table Service, and the Queue Service. Now let's create a new container. For now, leave the public access level as private. So now, go to the container. And let's upload a file. So we'll upload a file from our local system. Now, as the file has been uploaded, let's click on the file. Here in the overview, we can see all the details of this file. Also, every blob in a storage account will get a unique URL. So let's copy this and go to a new tab. And when we put the URL, it is giving us an error saying that the resource is not found. So this is because, we are trying to access the blob as an anonymous user, and we have not given access to the blob in our container. So, if we want to give access to any other user, we need some sort of authentication, or credentials, for giving access to this particular resource, or this particular blob. Now, one way is to give access to our container. You can do this by clicking on Change Access Level. So now let's see, how you can give access to the storage account in another way. Now, if you go to Access Keys. By default, you get two keys. So Access Keys, gives you another way. To access your storage account. Now, the reason why there are two keys is just for security purposes, in case one key is compromised. Next, we also have something called the Storage Explorer from Azure. It is a free downloadable tool and it can be used by you, or anyone, to access the storage, just by using the account credentials, or by using the access keys. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.